Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for April. As this month begins, your ruling planet Saturn is hugely important. Just before the end of last month, on the 26th of March, he slammed on the brakes and will be in retrograde for the next five and a half months. But Saturn is the planet of structure and for you, he's located in quite a psychological part of your horoscope. But as this month begins, forges a terrific link with the sun, which is in the area which is very much to do with home, family and emotions. You could find yourself get into a new position of understanding about your deepest motivations on the back of this particular aspect. You can make some connections. You may even get in touch with old family members or research your family tree. Anything which helps you to understand your personal DNA is going to be profoundly interesting and can deepen your personal understanding hugely. Ironically, also in the first week of this month, tiny Pluto, which is in your sign and has been for seven years, is clashing with the sun. And it's just saying to you that there may be some considerations that you have to consider where it's going to be important not to be oversensitive or let pride get in the way of what's truly right for you in terms of your security. Now also, Mars is in that psychological part of your horoscope too. And that can itself be raking up quite a lot of old emotions. But that's angling in a sharp right angle with Neptune for the whole of this month. I do feel that you're going to be particularly sensitive when it comes to what other people say this month. And it's possible that even an innocent comment can really go into you and could be quite wounding. Especially if people are talking about what you perceive as being your weaknesses. We all have them, the side of our natures which we just find that much more challenging to control, the, the impulses and so on. And maybe someone is going to bring some of these out into the open. But be absolutely determined not to take this too much to heart, to see any information that does come into view as being something that actually can help you to release anything that's been deep within you so you can move on in a much more energised way. Now Venus is actually in a beautiful part of your horoscope for the first week of this month and that's going to be aiding your, your communication but it's going to be Mercury that really starts to sparkle for you from the 7th because from then on Mercury is in a much more playful zone. It's going to help you to feel more outgoing and it's also forging a fine link with lucky Jupiter between the 12th and the 17th. The suggestion is that anything to do with higher education or learning or travel can actually be areas which you really thrive around. This could be that you're just going to be learning more about what makes you tick, or perhaps you are going to be more outgoing in the way you absorb information, so you could attend some kind of practical course which can see you enhance your earning capabilities. But by the 7th, there is a new moon. And this new moon is in Aries, but combines with the unpredictable, electrifying energies of Uranus. Now if that seems to ring a bell, and I seem to have spoken about it a lot, it's because Pluto has been clashing with Uranus in the sign of Aries for the last four years, and Pluto is in your sign. Pluto in Capricorn is very much to do with the Orthodox. Nothing about Uranus is to do with the Orthodox. It's all about challenging us around our need for space, new experiences, excitement. It doesn't like dull stuff, but because it's in the part of your horoscope to do with security, it may have been almost shaken the foundations of your world at times, which hasn't necessarily been a particularly comfortable experience. The great news is that sharp right angle between Uranus and Pluto is actually finally at an end. But the Sun just does, the first week of this month, briefly clash with Pluto again. But then we have this new moon. And I think really, whatever it is that you've been trying to come to terms with, around where you live, who you live with, how you live there, over that period of time, is really going to come up to the surface once and for all. Also, with Venus moving into this area as well, it could be an opportunity to think about where you live. It may be that you're going to make some improvements to your home, cosmetically or, or physically, move all together, rent a room out, 
start working from home, have a more flexible lifestyle, uh, look to work with your family arrangements in a new imaginative way. All of these are possible. Now by the 19th, Venus is actually really side by side with Uranus and will be for the following five days. It's possible that there could be some secrets that come into the open around the very close relationship. It may be a family tie and it could surprise you. It may not be particularly pleasant. It could be startling. On the other hand, someone could tell you something, someone older who you thought was very much a, a safe and conservative figure who could absolutely surprise you by something they've done in the past, which actually could be a bit racy and can really be quite fascinating. If you can work out more about where you came from and who you are, Venus's link with Uranus can be very, very helpful to understanding your uh, basic um, identity, which is so important to us all, a sense of validation, understanding where we come from, where our roots are. All of this stuff could throw up some surprises this month, but also some delights. But then the sun moves on the 20th into Taurus. And of course, Taurus is a, a fellow Earth sign like you. And you're going to feel really much more outgoing. And if there has been some electric energies going on at home and you have felt restless or tense, I think the last phase, the last 10 days of this month, would really be an excellent time to go out and do something far more fun. Give yourself the permission to do so. One of the things I love about Capricorn people is your sense of humour. And it just seems to get better and better the older you get. And there may be certain things this month which do rock you a little bit, but your perspective soon comes in and your strength of character. But I just feel that just be aware that your subconscious is going to be rather tender this month. So nurture yourself, give yourself some space at times, but also just make legislate that some of the comments that made may not be intentionally wounded. It's just that quite a lot of stuff does need to come up and be cleared away so that you can move along afresh. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.